Namaste, Jai Hind, and welcome to yet another edition of Cricket Next Presents uh, Free Hit. Look, we will talk about cricket, but it's free hit. So, how can we play anywhere? We can play and we can talk. But all the issues surrounding cricket and the person to talk with me is senior journalist and quite a pro at free hit is uh, Ayaz Memon, Anand. And Ayaz ka ye show, Ayaz Memon ke bina to khali hai, it is incomplete. And <laughs> mooche ho to Ayaz Memon jaisi ho, varna na ho. और आज ये अपनी मुछे फ्लॉन्ट देश के मध्य में कर रहे हैं ये तो है आ, जो है वो कर यू शुड फ्लॉन्ट व्हाट यू हैव गॉट ना जो जो चीज है वो उसको फ्लॉन्ट ही करो छुपा के क्यों रख रहे हैं हां एंड यू आर राइट इन द सेंटर ऑफ भारत टुडे आई एम पार्ट ऑफ भारत एंड यस राइट इन द मिडिल ऑफ द कंट्री ग्रेट आज अब आप मुझे बताइए लास्ट वीक हैज बीन अ गुड वीक आई हैव हैड फॉर इंडियन क्रिकेट Very good week. I mean, एक तो क्लीन स्वीप किया और न्यूजीलैंड का और बहुत से लोगों का कहना है स्केप्टिक्स का कि ये न्यूजीलैंड क्या है थकी हुई टीम थी एंड इन ऑन इंडियन पिचेस बायोलैट्रल सीरीज में तो इनको हराएंगे ही बट लेट्स नॉट फॉरगेट जब वो न्यूजीलैंड यहाँ आई थी इट वॉज नंबर वन रैंक टीम और इस मैच पे लास्ट मैच पे काफी कुछ डिपेंड होता था अगर न्यूजीलैंड ये मैच जीती देन देव यू नो फिनिश द सीरीज इज द नंबर वन टीम नाउ इट्स इंडिया विच इज द नंबर वन टीम तो I think it's the, the cherry on the cake, so to speak. Cake. आपको ranking भी मिली, clean sweep भी मिला. और मुझे लगता है दो चीजें जो है ना आनंद. One is the emergence of Shubman Gill as a player of, yeah. you know, insatiable run, run hunger. Apart from a lot of style and panache. And finally, in the last match, I think uh, Rohit Sharma getting a fantastic hundred. He's looked in terrific form in the last few weeks, I would say, or maybe a couple of months. But not getting those big scores. And he's finally got a hundred, which should set right a lot of. Misgivings about his form and you know what where he's headed and so on and so forth. With with some players we say, "Yar, fifty to banana le." With some players we say, "Yar, thirty to banana le." With some <laughs> players we say, "Hundred nahi banana." So Rohit Sharma is one of those players. So along with Virat Kohli, I, the expectation is of big knocks, and especially once they get in and they cross fifty, then you expect them to go to hundred. What was Surya Kumar Yadav telling Rohit Sharma? Two so or something else? <laughs> हाँ ये साइन लैंग्वेज था उनका मेरे ख्याल से शायद यही इशारा था कि 200 सौ बनाए बिकॉज ही इज ऑलरेडी गॉट थ्री डबल हंड्रेड यू नो रोहित शर्मा इज इज एन अमेजिंग अमेजिंग बीस्ट इफ आई मेट पुट इट दैट वे इन इन वाइट बॉल क्रिकेट वी नो वॉट इज डन इन द वर्ल्ड कप इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पांच सेंचुरीज लगा दिए थे वहां पर एंड मेरे कप डबल सेंचुरीज गलोर सो इज एन एक्सेप्शनल टैलेंट एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी एम स्टार्ट स्टार्ट दिस वे बिकॉज वीव गॉट द वर्ल्ड कप कमिंग अप एंड रोहित इन दिस कैन ऑफ फॉर्म वुड बी यू नो what india is expecting rohit getting a 100 virat kohli getting a 100 ishan kishan getting a double 100 shubman gill yeah. getting a double 100 and then another 100 so it's all augering well it's raining runs from the bat of uh, some of the youngsters and now we've got three indians with double hundreds in that batting lineup ha dekhe aur kitna acute competition ho gaya top of the order so rohit hmm. of course is there and you know kl rahul best of luck to him and his you know he's just got married so To the newlyweds, our best wishes to them. But he's got a pro- problem now to get get into the team because Ishan Kishan, as you mentioned, got a double hundred as an opener. Shubman Gill has got a double hundred and a hundred and most runs by an Indian player in ODIs in the and the fastest to a thousand runs in the last year. He's made the most runs. He's fastest to fastest to a thousand runs. He's looking unstoppable at the moment. So, बहुत तगड़ा competition है पहले चार पांच जगहों पर. No, but the fact is, Ishan Kishan, the moment he has moved to number four, and I saw that discussion with Rohit Sharma had uh, along with Ishan Kishan and uh, this one, uh, Shubman Gill, when uh, Shubman got a double hundred, and uh, Rohit took a jab on himself, where he said, "Sir, who number four be batting? करने को किसने बोला?" And Ishan said, "आप ही ने तो बोला." But the moment he has moved to number four, Ishan is not getting the runs. So is that a problem? Is that going to be a problem, or do you think that he will settle in that role? And somewhere. Under Rohit's captaincy, Ishan Kishan will be there in the middle order and not at the top. I think so. I think you know, top three. I don't think there will be much difference. There won't be enough. Uh, there won't be more juggling. I think there's. It's clearly emerging. It's going to be Rohit and Shubman Gill, uh, subject to KL Rahul. The way he comes back, we'll have to wait and see. And then Virat Kohli at number three looks a certainty. So, whatever will happen, you know, batting order. After that, we'll have to see how it settles. Ishan Kishan has got us, uh, you know, a good. Advantage, I would say, because he's a wicketkeeper batsman. Until Rishabh Pant comes back, you know they have to look for a wicketkeeper batsman, and that's where Ishan Kishan maybe he's being you know tried out at four, five, maybe even six as we go ahead. Because Rishabh Pant might take a few months to to come back into the team, to come back to cricket, in fact. Mm. Mm. 
but but you see this is as a settled order would you want to pick ishan kishan in your team uh, surya kumar yadav at number 5 would you then look at a washington sundar at number 6 or 7 and an akshar patel or ravindra jadeja when he comes back uh, how do you see this team forming under rohit sharma's captaincy and do uh, and and we'll talk a little more about rohit sharma after this that 100 how much of it Uh, how much actually it matters but first let's look at that batting uh, order and the top order yeah i mean look it's it's a it's a little complicated in the sense there's just just too many players available as we spoke even the last time but and players in form so ravindra jadeja is just making taking ginger steps coming back into international cricket playing ranji trophy now uh, you know we'll have to wait and see how fast he has to not fast track his progress because akshar patel mm-hmm. is doing so well Washington Sundar has come back, started taking wickets. He can even bat, you know, bat as as we know at seven, eight, nine, ten. Or what happened is that spinners, because of Akshar or Washington Sundar, because of Kuldeep Yadav coming into form, poor Yuzvendra Chahal, who looked to be your best spinner seven, eight months yeah. back, the others were not in the reckoning. He is now looking to be a guy being pushed to the margins. So this is a problem. It is a problem of plenty. That you have to keep who is who out. You see that in fast bowling, maybe I mean. You know, Bumrah not being there looked like a almost like a fell blow for India, but India survived without him in the Test matches, in the ODIs, in the T20s, and some of the other guys have raised the ante, so to speak, raised their game. Mohammad Siraj is looking very much a spearhead. You know, it's not that he's a replacement for Bumrah, but I'm saying that the other guys are just measuring up, and that's a good sign for Indian cricket. A complication here cleared Karta Anand, which happened before the T20 World Cup. That you can mm. end up spending too much time and too many matches in experimenting. Who is best? Who is not? Because you have 25, 30 players, hai. and then finally, when the when the tournament arrives, you are still confused. I don't know who to play. Playing eleven, what should be done? So that is something Correct. we need to start sorting out early enough. We paid a heavy price for it in the T20 World Cup. True, I, I remember Dada even Dhoni had this thing that once your team is settled, they need to play at least 15 ODIs together, if not more. पंद्रह से बीस ओडिया एक साथ नहीं खेलेंगे तब तक वो बनेगा नहीं रिदम दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन हार्दिक पांड्या कम्स इन टू प्ले एट नंबर सिक्स यू वुड वांट टू लुक एट अ शार्दुल ठाकुर एंड वॉशिंगटन सुंदर बिकॉज दे गिव यू बैटिंग ऑप्शंस दे गिव यू बैटिंग डेप्थ एंड इफ यू हैव अ टॉप ऑर्डर को मिडल ऑर्डर लोअर मिडल ऑर्डर कैन कैन स्टेम द रन रट बट हार्दिक ओपनिंग इन द फाइनल ओडिया ओपनिंग द बोलिंग इन द फाइनल ओडिया Uh, did you expect that, or was it good to see Hardik regularly bowling at 140 plates? He got the early dismissal, and and he seemed to be in a fair rhythm. Uh, how do you see this uh, going forward? Because uh, how much time will you give this side and the other players to also make a comeback from injury? Well, that's a big million-dollar question. You want Bumrah and Jadeja to be in, you know, in in the squad. If not in the playing eleven right away, but in the squad, but that is subject to their recovery from injury, especially Bumrah, because there's there's been a bit of a mystery around it, you know. कि क्या हो गया? I mean, it seemed like he was ready to take the field for one match, then he was pulled out at the last minute. Has not been able to play in any format. Uh, and also, I think Jadeja is made a comeback to first class cricket, but we'll have to wait and see किस तरह से वो गेंदबाजी करते हैं as a batsman. But I think you know, the sooner they get. Rahul, Rahul Ravid and Rohit Sharma get a clear fix as to this is our playing. I mean, this is our 15. You might have a squad of you know 25 to start with. You'll have to narrow it down to what the tournament rules prescribe, and then after that you have to start focusing on your playing level. And as you mentioned, uh, Dhoni and Ganguly in the past, 15-20 matches, so you have to play with them. Otherwise, how do you gel? You know, and that gelling part becomes very important. You know, Bhule, that you know we got talk of Shardul Thakur getting wickets and so on and so forth. these are important wickets on indian pitches because the yeah. world cup is going to be played in india and these mm-hmm. are guys who will be of value so they have to also be not just contributing with the bat bat is the you know you want your batsman to do it but if they are in the team as bowlers who can bat a bit then they better bowl well that should be the top priority we've now got what 50 international values in our country with raipur being added to it what did you think about raipur एक से बढ़ के एक आप जो भी वेन्यू देखें सी आई आई थिंक द प्रॉब्लम टुडे इज नो लॉन्गर ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड रिपोर्टिंग ऑन क्रिकेट तो आई मीन फ्रॉम ट्राइब्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू और अ स्पेक्टेटर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू वुड स्ट्रगल टू गेट अ लू यू नो यू कुड गेट अ टॉयलेट स्पेशली इफ यू आर अ फीमेल यू हैड इट यू नो ऑल दैट हैज चेंज इट्स अ कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट सिनेरियो नाउ द टर्फ इज गुड द ग्राउंड्स आर गुड द फैसिलिटीज आर टॉप क्लास एंड नोबडी कैन कंप्लेन 
पहले दस साल जब मैंने रिपोर्टिंग किया तो जो भी विजिटिंग टीम आती थी इंडिया को आके वो बदगुमानी होती थी कहाँ आ गए पता नहीं है यू नो शुड बी एट ऑल कम यर All kinds of things have been written in books and all. Now they clamor. There's a clamor to come to India and play matches because yeah. the facilities are, you know, international class. It's better than what you get anywhere in the world. So I think that it's it's a it's a credit to the way cricket has been run in the country. Let's not take away credit. To a lot of things that BCCI could do better, but certainly in this respect, they've done extremely well in the last 20, 25 years. So infrastructure, we've got it. We've got a bit rich bank of players who can who can uh, contribute. uh but do you do you see india winning the world cup at home in 2023 i see right now i see india starting as favorite certainly you know for the kind of quality of players you got for the number of for the talent pool you got and obviously playing at home you know the fan support the pitches you know the conditions you know well uh you know the curator the groundsmen are all you know you are going to interact far more with them than the visiting team will do So certainly India should start as favourites, and the manner in which they played in this ODI series, the three matches against New Zealand, suggests to me that if they play at this throttle, in this with this flavour and this kind of consistency, they'll be very, very, very difficult to stop. Having said that, you know I've had this misgiving, and I've mentioned this earlier, that every time we, you know, it's almost, you know, so near yet so far for India. Up semi-final, they reach the semi-final, they win the 2019 World Cup. 2022 T20 World Cup, 2021 World Test Championship. We we, we went into hmm. the final. We were favourites. We couldn't win. So this is the bridge. This is the great leap that I think Dravid and Rohit have to focus on. Because it's not about skills and talent. It's now all I think about to do with the mind and the intensity hmm. and the competitive juices flowing at the right right time. The decisions made in at critical uh, at at critical junctures. As an individual and collectively as a team, these are of consequence. What What do you think? Will Pakistan come? Should Pakistan come to play? Because I think Asia Cup, ka, Asia Cup, ko lekar bhi there is a standoff between Pakistan and India on positions that have been taken. Nadim Sethi and Jay Shah ke beech mein bhi thani hui hai. So what's the story there? No, I, I look. I I think first of all, you know, I think it would be. Uh, Extremely foolish of them not to come for the World Cup. It's an ICC tournament. You know, आपका जो इंडिया पाकिस्तान का जो दूसरा नैरेटिव चलते रहता है वो तो रहा है. 2019 में भी था, उसके पहले भी था. Just because the tournament is going to be played in India does not or should not change the you know the 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 decisions so to speak. You've got a problem about the Asia Cup that should be resolved at the Asian level. I mean, there are talks and conversations that can have at the Asian Council. You know, so I think that. Just trying to mix up too many things, and what happens, Anand, is that it ends up trying to score brownie points rather than, you know, saying it is going to take cricket ahead. That should be the thought process. Because so ultimately, eight, nine, ten countries play top level cricket. Of course, Pakistan is one. India is certainly one. England, Australia, South Africa, etc. Are also one. You know, you can count them. You you don't have 120 countries, unlike football Get or it. hockey. So you can't have. Dropouts, and then you know this whole sadness leading up into the World Cup. And after that, we have seen that 2019, maybe you know the the teams played and and they played against each other also in the World Cup, and they played. You know, I mean, Pakistan lost, but it was played in very good spirit. So hmm. I I don't see. The, I I think this this may be a little, for want of a better word, a little posturing now. But I think hmm. it should be played, and I think Pakistan will come around to playing the World Cup. माय पॉइंट इज अभी उनकी माली हालत इतनी खराब है कैन दे अफोर्ड इवन द फ्लाइट टिकट्स एंड सेंड दैट एंटायर कंटिन्जेंट दैट्स द बिगर क्वेश्चन कि पैसा होगा कि नहीं होगा वो तो आईसीसी का फाइनेंशियल नहीं फाइनेंशियल फाइनेंशियल एवरीबॉडी गेट्स अ शेयर ऑफ द पाई व्हेन देयर इज एन आईसीसी टॉक करेक्ट एवरीबॉडी करेक्ट बट यू गोट फर्स्ट पेंट देन ओनली यू रिसीव सो यू डोंट गेट तो पहले उनकी माली हालत अभी फाइनेंशियली देयर इन डोल ड्रम्स यू डोंट इवन हैव 4 बिलियन डॉलर्स इन रिजर्व्स राइट नाउ सो दैट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी फॉर फॉर क्रिकेट वो वो और वी विल हैव टू लुक एट अ डोनर नेशन और अ स्पोंसर नेशन व्हिच विल से चलो तुम्हारी टीम को हम कब से कब टिकट दिला देंगे बट दैट्स देयर सेट ऑफ अफेयर्स बट दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस बिकॉज़ क्रिकेट इज नथिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ अ रिलीजन एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड and it is also very seriously connected with what the social uh, equations are and also the you know political equations are 
uh, and also what what happens at that time it's it's also a critical time ahead of the general elections in 2024 we'll also have to look at the security risk so we we will have to look at a lot of time yeah so just yeah. just to kind of interject you know let's not forget in 87 india and pakistan jointly hosted the world cup you know yeah. after 80, india 83 win in 96 also india and pakistan hosted the world cup jointly those the two teams played in their respective countries till the knockout stage came so you know things take can turn dramatically one way or the other you know this is yeah. this is a that's the nature of the you know well, political yes other relationship in the subcontinent no i see they're not just that i think there are uh, two thought school of thoughts here saying leave sports alone uh, like yeah. the olympic charter says but somewhere politics is always involved and somewhere of sentiment of a nation can never be ignored so we'll have to see what happens but i'll leave it yeah. there let me get to another aspect we see an increasing number of instances of mankading mm. now be it women's cricket or men's cricket and there have been some very strong views about mankading i wanted to pick your brain on this see the rule book allows and venkatesh prasad has a very interesting take especially when pup came out and said oh why did he have to do that and this is disgraceful for cricket and this is very ungentlemanly and all of that so venkatesh prasad said if the batsman can take an unfair advantage by leaving his crease and trying to back up and and walk 20 10 feet ahead why can't i take off the base because it the rules perfectly allow me so what kind of sportsman spirit is the batsman showing when he's using gamesmanship or 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 she is using gamesmanship why can't the bowler do the same i thought there is a very fair uh, judgment from a bowler's perspective the pop may have come from a batsman's perspective right where do you stand as a journalist i completely agree with uh, venkatesh prasad you know i, I think hmm. look these kind of values or what we assign as value to a dismissal or the way of playing also change with time you know i mean and i personally think that if you go back to in history and mankaded when the term came because vinu mankad you know used that method to dismiss an australian batsman let's not forget he had warned and cautioned the batsman hmm. earlier it's not that ke pehli baar aaya aur kar diya when that batsman was taking unfair advantages when he resorted to this and at that point in time it was seen in the light that it is denigrating the spirit of cricket and therefore it continued for the 50 60 70 years till very recently right now the law is very clear it was always clear actually that yeah. the minute you step out it's like stumping a batsman steps out yeah. to play a spinner is beaten in the air the wicket keeper doesn't say nahi aap aa jao yaar main aapko aane deta hu wapas aa jao you know ye aapse galti ho gayi theek hai you know so i think is is whether it should be a bowler's independent choice is now the raging issue anand because what mm-hmm. has happened is as for instance rohit sharma withdrew an appeal uh, you know against uh, against a new zealand batsman who was reaching a century so right sorry i lost to there where you said it's it's now coming to a bowlers it's coming to a, it's coming to a situation where some player might say but i don't want to do it you know mm-hmm. some player mm-hmm. might say i was forced by the captain to do it or this is a team policy not forced by the captain but this is a team policy therefore i'm doing it it's like walking some batsmen walk some batsmen don't they wait for the umpire's decision which is fair and that i think is going to be is a little complex now okay you know if i am a bowler and i feel ke mujhe nahi karna chahiye for whatever reason then then am i wrong or right mm. by law by law if you do it you are not wrong at all mm. but can i still exercise my own independent no no but like 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 ayaz bhai ek baat bataiye i am also looking at it from the subjective point of view law says you can get them out but ye emotional atyachar and this all of this only why with the bowler batsman ko kyun nahi bolta it is against the spirit it is against the spirit of this for you to back up like that and leave the crease it is against that the is spirit abs- for you to do what you doing no no that is that is absolute rubbish i think the law otherwise why have laws of cricket agar aapko aise hmm. karna hai to you know agar koi duvidha mein hai umpire bhi duvidha mein hai ki pata nahi hai now you got the third umpire pehle hota tha to in 1979 80 in the jubilee test india versus england gundappa vishnath recalled bob taylor caught behind yeah uh. you know because he was not sure umpire had given him uh. out but he said no you know he revoked his appeal took it back batsman played he and botham hammered us you know 170 180 whatever the number of runs partnership and india lost that match both uh, vishwanath was praised to the skies hmm. because he he was conforming to what was or is known as the spirit of cricket that if you are not sure that he is out 
then you take back the appeal. That was what the spirit of cricket said. Today, yeah, the value might be different. Umpire has given them out. Umpire has given them out. Yeah, he has to walk. Hmm. You know. No, not just that. See, this is also a two-way street. You know? uh, the point is, if you're playing like a team with a team like Australia, any charity you extend to them, you'll never get it back. They don't. No, they no. are not charitable. They they are not charitable. They'll play the victim card when they are on the receiving end of it. But otherwise, they'll say, "Oh, it's in the rules. We've just played by the rules." Correct. Ab Greg Chappell yeah. under under and bowling kya to kya? What what happened there? Right. So I liked I liked what Ian Chappell said five decades ago. You know, he was a as we call in Bombay language a khadus player, khadus captain. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, "I play by the rules. I don't walk. If the umpire gives me out, I'll I'm out. You know, Correct. I won't stay on the wicket and say I'm not going." I may have got a touch. I may not have got a touch. The umpire is the best judge. Today, in fact, that is reinforced by the presence of snicko meter, this meter, you know, third umpire, vagera, vagera. So why do you want to, uh, you know, go and take a decision based on some which you may not even be sure of? You know, hmm. suppose you are a batsman and you say I'll walk. Or badme pata chala ye walk kiya wo lagai nahi tha edge. Why have you walked? So you leave it to the umpire. In the case mm-hmm. of this on striker being mankarded, and I don't find that term derogatory, incidentally, mm-hmm. because I think yeah. set in place a system of dismissal which is now being recognized as not just valid but also has put the batsmen rooted to where they should be. The non striker. Yeah, yeah. अपने 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 हद में रहो, अपने boundary में रहो. Till the bowler bowler releases the ball, you don't leave the crease. I am totally. Till then, the crease belongs to the bowler. But a rider up aaya. If you know what has happened, is MCC has added a bit of a caveat. To this whole dismissal, mm-hmm. not that they are removing the law; the law remains. But where, at what, what stage, the action does he do it? Does he pretend yeah. to bowl? How long? So this is. Now, ball ki khal nikalne wali hai na. Ye baat meri man lo. Ye sunke chalo aage. But wo wo ye kehte na ki jab tak apka haath upar nahi aata, wo release ke liye. At the point of release is is where you can't pull out. Just before the point of release, you can pull out, and that's what most people did. Even couple day when he won the West Indies ka match tha na, I think try 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 he won. Twice he won. Couple no, no, days ago, South Africa. South Africa. Huh? South Africa. Huh? South Africa. Huh? South Africa. Correct. He won twice, and the third time he said, "I'm go- not go." Yes. You and know? at that point in time, most you know, sheepishly and apologetically, though he was in uh, the right, because correct. The mahal tha ki how can you do it, you know? But he did it, and he uh, did it correctly, uh, as he should have, having yeah. given multiple warnings to. I think it was Gary Kirsten, not Gary Kirsten, Peter Kirsten, the batsman. Ah, uh, Peter Kirsten was a batsman. Correct. Now it all comes back to me. I was just watching this instance sometime, some days, a few days ago. Some great memories of Kapil Dev, and this, this, uh, this also popped up there when I was watching that. So that's why I remember this. अच्छा एक बात बताइए. Two more questions to you. T10. There is a lot of activity around T10. There is a lot of T10 being played. So ये तो instant cricket का instant cricket हो गया. Are you an advocate of T10 just to popularize the game? And somewhere, perhaps, get it into the Olympic format in the future. Because you want cricket in the Olympics, you need something which will get over. And T20 was also being seen as too long. Yeah. So I think the Olympic angle obviously works with me. I mean, that's one reason why I would certainly say, you know, can we promote it further? And because this is this is the segue into getting into the Olympics. Because even T20, 90 minutes, 90 minutes, minutes, three and a half, four hours, five hours, all told, might be too long. Period for the Olympics, you know, as a multi-discipline thing, but a T10 match, maybe half that time, is possible because they also have football in the in the Olympics and certainly hockey is there. So, if Olympics me jana hai, to kuch zariya to nikalna hai. If T20 is not happening, then you know whether it's T15, T12, T10 is a matter of uh, academic debate. Hmm. But yeah, hmm. ke I think you know, Anand, we we talked about cricket for so long in the Olympics. You know, Commonwealth Games में 1998 में खेला गया था. So उसके बाद से there has been big push. And I'm sorry to say, but actually the biggest hurdle for many many years for cricket getting into the Olympics was the BCCI, because yeah. they were never strong enough in their in their desire to be in the Olympics. Now things are changing. You know, they've also been supportive of T10. Wherever it's played, they've not been, they've not made IPL into a T10 tournament, but they've been supportive. So, if it means a quick entry into the Olympics, I would support it. But otherwise, I think just diminishing the game, then you can also have a, you know, we had super overs, so you can have a one over game. Hmm. You know, that's true. Then you enter it. If it were heads and tails, yes, I'll get one one ball. Will get heads and tails, you lose. You know, you know that. That would that would that would become farcical. 
रोकना चाहिए अब इसको फाइव ओवर मत करो थ्री ओवर मत करो ऑलरेडी फाइव ओवर है तो फ्री हिट से जुड़ा हुआ एक सवाल पूछता हूँ अब फ्री हिट का रूल ये है की अगर बैट्समैन सेम है बोलर सेम है देन द फील्ड रिमेन द सेम करेक्ट इफ द बैट्समैन दे चेंज एंड देन Uh, there is a consideration and uh, if it's the same batsman it's the same bowler but for the free hit the batsman turns and bats left handed to kya hoga i think this is a, again a you know <laughs> intriguing question yeah ye to hai because kya hai bowler ke liye zaruri hai aap agar end yeah if you go over around the wicket you have to warn the uh, tell the umpire the batsman yeah. doesn't have to do anything even for the switch hit the batsman doesn't tell the umpire ki main ab switch hit khelne wala hu ya reverse sweep khelne wala hu because then you would automatically set the field differently so right now there is no onus on the batsman to inform the umpire mm. and therefore the rival captain who would know automatically and therefore the change in field would not happen hmm so so that's what i I'm say if it because batsman is the same Uh, as far as I read the rule book, if the batsman is the same, obviously it's the same bowler, then the field remains the same. But if the batsman suddenly says, "I'm left hand batting," then does the rule apply? No, he doesn't. 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 He doesn't